Oh my god. We finally made it to this spot, huh? It's gonna be interesting. I am very curious about it. We'll, we'll see how this goes. Let me turn that down a bit. I think we still got a decent amount of time. I was trying to like say how's it going hope all is well it's coming up 
I'm gonna be here in like 10 minutes from now. Got another showcase. It's gonna be pretty interesting. I'm actually watching it live, so that's gonna be pretty dope. I'm not gonna be able to see the well. Hmm. Times the Capcom showcase tomorrow. Shoot. When is that Capcom showcase? Capcom showcase. Time. It must be on like YouTube, right? Probably in the afternoon. I should be able to do it. I have tomorrow off. So it's like. Uh, uh, more at five more at five is what i'm getting okay we should be able to do that than like uh digi monday but yeah um my general hopes here we go i mean we'll probably see fable right we're gonna see fable for sure i'd be damned if we didn't um I need to see this art style. The Fable games are like fun, but like the visuals just did not click with me. Um, I like the the gameplay in the world, but the way the colors were, they were just felt. Um, it just made it it just like bored me to tears. Um, just visually, it was taking my interest away. Um, just the colors. But um, I'm excited for I'm interested in that to see how that goes. Um, if they get high fire rush DLC, that'd be cool. Uh, I'm expecting the Gears of War remakes to be shown. Maybe I at least teased. But that's not really a secret. Um, I don't really care about Starfield, so I don't know if I'm gonna, I don't think I'm gonna watch Starfield after. Uh. Let's see. Forza is kind of a classic. Department to tease some like new Halo content. I'd like to see some new stuff. At this point, they have so many studios that it's like I don't know what they do. I think that's kind of like the nutty thing is that like they have so many studios. I don't feel like I actually understand what they even do at this point. Um just because the release schedules for them would be also kind of over the place. It's going to be pretty interesting. I'm excited, though. I think it's going to be fun. Um, I just hope they wow me. I mean... We got, like, uh... Was well, it going to be, like, an hour? It's going to be at least, like, an hour long than, um... It's gonna be like 30 minutes of Starfield. I don't know. It's gonna be pretty interesting. I'm just hoping to see just new stuff. Like, <clears throat> what do they have that they teased a while ago? That I, about? I mean, if they show off, like, if Hellboy 2 gets me excited in any way, then I'll play the I'll play the first game. I'll be down to play Hellblade. Um, I could see them doing the, um, Elder Scroll or like not Elder Scroll, but like, uh, Elden Ring DLC. I can see them showing that here. I can easily see that. Um, I don't know if EA is going to do much here. I don't, I don't know. They, they, they actually, I, I, oh, I will give them credit. Wild Hearts was very fun. I had a good time with it. I did, like, <clears throat> beat it. Um, there's some, like, post-game stuff I would do later on for fun. Um, that definitely helped me with, like, my monster hunting cravings. Um, so, this, there's that. Um. I don't think... Well, they already showed, like, some Sega stuff before, but, like... I don't know if they're gonna do, like, Crazy Taxi and stuff like that here. Um... One game got leaked already. That person, I'm pretty sure, got fired for that leak. 
Uh, so that's kind of rough for them. Uh, let's see here. RPGs, RPGs. I think we will saw like more Square Enix stuff of like Dragon Quest stuff before, like we did, kind of already. Um, hmm. I don't know what I would want from them. I was gonna be wild, you know, just wild me. We still have like another three minutes, but uh, I was just like, hmm, what do they have? It was a different developers that bought like Tomb Raider and stuff like that. Um, like Square Enix, sort of like a bunch of IPs to like these. I forgot the name of the company, but they usually do like remakes or remasters, stuff like that for um games like that. Um hmm. Hmm. It's gonna be pretty interesting. I'm like I feel like I'm more curious about this than I am with like the Sony sh showcase because it was like I had a rough idea with like what was going to be shown. Um, state of play. What else we got? They have like two different names for their events, so it's kind of confusing. Uh, but like, because we don't really see much from Xbox out of anything, like we get like. We get like seasonal like Nintendo Directs at least. Not this time, which is kind of fine. It's already got like the biggest game of the year already came out. Um, so I'm kind of expecting the rest of the year to be kind of slower. Um Yeah, so it's like <laughs> we, we also got like our showcase from them like a couple months ago, like early in the year. And they're just like showing off a few stuff here and there. So it's like, hmm. I'm interesting. I just hope it's something I get excited about, but um I'm just gonna hit the live button. Hopefully the music's not gonna be too much. Or or it's not even there. But this is Excuse me. Okay, let me look here. I I literally had I had it open, but then it was like Just show me. Then I hit likes. What's on my like playlist? Library. Uh there we go. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's gonna be maybe a hoot. Yeah, just I just want to see the showcase here. That's all. That's all I want to see. I just want to be impressed. Be good. Let me know what y'all looking forward to. If there's anything you like specifically want, I don't expect Bandai stuff here. Well, maybe Dragon Ball. I don't know why they would do it here, but uh, I feel like they might just do drop it on YouTube or something or Twitter. It'll be a Twitter drop, more likely, out of anything. I'm surprised they didn't, like... I don't know. I'm surprised they didn't, like, port that game over. I don't know how that game's still, like... I don't even know if next order is like 60 FPS on console. I think it's still like 30. I could be wrong. Or maybe it's just a Switch version. Because it was on like PS4, but you can play on PS5. I don't know. And like, uh, I know when I was playing it on Switch, like Survive was like having FPS drops during the Survivor battles. Um... I was kind of driving me nuts actually when I was watching it because I was just like, it's pretty glaring. I think that's why I was getting like, blah. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll figure it out. God, there's a lot of people. Everyone's ready for it. It's gonna be a good old time.
I'm genuinely hyped for it. I'm like, I'm like, Jesus, holy crap. Turn that down, my god. Sorry about that. I should kiss my ears. Let's see how loud that is. Hopefully it's not too loud. Let me know if it is. I can just mute myself and see. That should be a bit better. That's are like, wait a minute. My God, it's already here. I'm not ready. Ah! Oh, we're finally doing this, are we? Because I was going to make a sandwich. What? Okay. Let's do it. What do I think about heroes? Well, we've all seen them, haven't we? Fable! Swanning about the place with their disproportionately high cheekbones and comically massive weapons. Wanker. Roughing up bandits, because they like to rough up bandits, don't Ooh. they? Living it up with the common folk every single night. On a day-to-day -day basis, I'd say the true hero's me, someone who's breaking new ground with fruit, with veg, on the agricultural side of things. Just look at them. Not wafting around mythical creatures. <laughs> and that's what they are. Wafters. Yeah, well done. You see, I'm not here to...
Not helpful. Snakey. the art style but I was just waiting for a little bit more world premiere these are dangerous times at least that's what I hear the Empire they're everywhere But the world here belongs to the syndicates. If I want to survive, I have to play their game. Looks like I'm all in. She's in here somewhere. On second thought, I'm out. There she is. my whole life. And now, I just need a chance to finally be free. Wherever that takes me. I'm here to offer you a way out, okay? Get off my ship, Jalen. Give me a chance. You're gonna have to trust me. You'll be dangerous, risky. But if you pull this off, you'll never look over your shoulder again. The underworld shows no mercy. But it's a big galaxy out there. Like, and I'm gonna risk it all. It's hard for me to be like... Because we just got like Jedi Survivor like this year. Next year. I, just, I, I don't know. I don't know. Nissy more gameplay, maybe. Uh, we also get wow. some Star Wars. Fable, South media. of Midnight, Star Wars Outlaws. Welcome kind of to our first ever off. double feature. The Xbox Game Showcase, followed by a deep dive into one of the most important RPGs ever made, we'll Starfield. Gaming is the most powerful of all entertainment. It transports, it challenges, it connects us, and it's just incredibly and awesomely fun. That is why Team yeah, Xbox we'll is committed see. to building the greatest I'm place to play, see. by partnering with the most ambitious of game creators, and by unleashing the power of the gaming community enabling all of us to play the games we want with our friends anywhere, from mobile devices to PCs to consoles. The lineup we have for you today is just incredible. These are the works of the very greatest creative teams from around the world. We made this show for you, the largest, most engaged and globally diverse fan base in Xbox history. You are the heart and soul of Xbox. Your passion drives us, and you are the inspiration for the visionaries whose games we showcase today. From me and all of the team at Xbox, thank you. So formal. This I next like game it. is from Thunder Lotus, <laughs> the award-winning studio please. behind Spirit Fair, who've gone back to their combat roots with an amazing co-op raid-focused action game that is uniquely theirs. 
All right, everybody. See you. It's time. World premiere. It's pretty interesting. It's new and different. It's kind of cool. Alright, guys. It's a simple job. This is payday. Just get it out. Payday. Nothing to it. Forgot they were making one. Everybody hit the floor! Day. I guess it's been fun for like searching the store stuff. Kind of escape places. Yeah, I think it would've been fun too if you could like sneak into places and try to like hack the safes and you have to try to like, get out for like security and stuff like that or something. Like modern day. I don't know if there's like stuff stuff with it too. World premiere. And it's, I don't really know much about the series, so that's probably asking for too much. There we go. Here we go. Game Pass. Yeah, I think that's gonna be something I would want to play in Game Pass. I can finally play a Persona game on stream. 
You know, I'm not me. I still haven't finished five. It's okay, though. We'll get to it. I got distracted. This skull and bones. This game ain't real. This game is not real. I refuse to believe this game is real. I thought this game was a money laundering scheme. It had People to be. don't like you very much, do they? Unless I'm wrong, so, oh no, this is definitely something else, never mind. By Sorry, Skull and Bones traumatized everybody. Not really traumatized, but that Yeah, so Persona 3 Don't remake and Fable are definitely taking the highlights here. Oh, it this seems to be corrupting dope, our very souls. You want us to trust you. But the truth is, you scare us. The give me found vibes. The power you wield. The secrets you keep. You're either here to save us. Ooh. Do any magic spells to do on like, gravity stuff? Or... Oh, Destiny. But now that you have all this power, what are you gonna do with it? So 2024, okay. I mean, it looks pretty interesting. That looks like a fun thing to also to do on Game Pass. Just hoping for like a single player, like, adventure experience with that. There's some pretty unique stuff here. Rare. Lucasfilm, oh. I was like, I was like, oh, rare. And then I, I, I saw Lucasfilm and I, I deflated. <laughs> I think if my mind is going to be blown away Welcome right now, it's probably going to be a new court instinct. Like even tease. Wall to wall I'll lose my mind if we got a new chaos. <laughs> So tell me, great. which ship is right for you? A big ship? I mean, I'm still playing it now. A luxury ship? A ship with just like a splash of je ne sais quoi? The legend of Monkey awesome. Island. You mean Governor Guybrush. But Freeport's not set foot out of that mansion for Where almost a year. Where has made so much money off of hey, Sea of Thieves? It's doing? crazy. I told you, no autographs. It's insane. So I see you have a meet and greet ticket. And I guess it's not every day that you get to meet the mighty pirate Guybrush Threepwood. The legend of Monkey Island. A monkey Island. The Chuck has turned the memories of this island into a prison for Guybrush. Well, well. What do we have here? You need these. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Things may be very uh, out of different. anything they're doing, they're doing great. The they just haven't been doing much new. like new stuff. Anymore. Well, like CFB has just been keeping them. Like it's just insane how much money they made off of CFAs and they still make a crap ton. Asking some good questions. It's been a lot of stuff like that. Where we're like, what happened to this thing? It's like, uh, I don't know. People are still asking for a new banjo, so it's like, salute everyone. Hoping everyone gets what they want eventually. So it's like flight simulator, but for like 
Search and rescue. I can see people having fun with this like specific type of thing. Like just casually like flying around and doing stuff. So you like search rescues in for a plane. Okay, this air race into something. Like, give me something a little more fun to do. Actual tornado. The environments look really good. It's just that YouTube compression is making it look a little fuzzy. That is Flight Simulator, I called it. I called it Flight Simulator 2. I was like, I mean, it's like a big update, I guess, for it. What is that? I'm trying to do a search and rescue in that thing. Yeah, right. Dude. Oh, Dune. Dune. Okay. I need to. I need to read Dune. Hi, Melina here, speaking to you from our performance Hellblade capture stage 2. at Ninja Theory, where we have just wrapped our shoots for Senua Saga Hellblade 2. When we first showed gameplay for Hellblade 2, it was a look at some of the game's cinematic and immersive action, uh, where yeah, Senua faced off against a gigantic about, oh troll God, on the Icelandic coastline. Oh. Today, we're taking you deeper into Senua's story, her personal quest, her unique perspective on the world, yeah, no, and the intimate um, journey that awaits you in Senua's saga. Been told to, like, what you'll see today is all captured by the I've team on Xbox things. Series X. Um, yeah, there's like different like planets or galaxies, and like my coworker was telling me about this one planet that depends on like water yeah. as like wealth as a resource. She can feel them. Oh yeah, so let me see this here, because we've been waiting on Hellblade 2 for yeah. that minute. The Which makes me mind. feel like I should play the first one eventually. She's here to find them. I know it's kind of trippy. Once you hide, she needs their help with a promise. A question. But it's never so simple. Is it? Wisdom has a price. And there's always a part of you that changes. A part of you that darkens. God, skip what's good. And a part of you that dies. Over there, that pool. I can feel them. I can feel them everywhere. The lost ones. They are watching us. Yeah. 
watching more than one. Where are you? What do they want? I don't like it. I'm scared. This is too much. Mad woman. Their eyes everywhere. You can feel them boring into her. Witch. What is she supposed to do? Do something. Oh, Ask yeah. What do you want me to do? them down. She is ready. They know. Go. Who are these around you, Senua? Those you have saved, or those you led to death? I wanted more. I mean, it was interesting. I know this game's like very like psychological. I know the first one definitely is. Um, <clears throat> what? <clears throat> like a dragon? <clears throat> oh my god! <clears throat> Wait, he's in the US. I won't speak English except for him. I do like what they've been doing with like the series is how, how they've been like separating that with like different titles. I'm still working for the Yakuza games. I'm, I uh, I need to finish uh, Kwame 2 of Mars and what a sight! A verdant wonderland of promise plucked from post-atomic life. The fruit oh my of years God. of prudent progress and determined reclamation. Oh my God. And 15 million dwellers worth of keen imagination. From the heart of West Virginia to the depths of the pit. Well, we owe it all to Vault 76. 
No matter oh, no. if you roam I need a or spend your time with friends, you'll find a home in Appalachia where the good times never end. There are relics. I was playing in Vegas, then I lost track. War, along with loads of friendly I lost track. I got distracted. Time Our world is have always commitment changing. Issues. Greater foes are overthrown Ooh. as we embark on expeditions into thrilling new unknowns. Yes, from Appalachian settlements to Nuka World on tour. You're never short on things to do or places to explore. Think you've seen it all, eh? Well, how about this? Pack your bags for an escape of Epicurean bliss. Put your rad shield on and fix your hair up pretty because we're headed for the boardwalk of Atlantic City. So there you have it. Now you know. There's a million ways to make the wasteland your waste home. And when you hear adventure calling, when you're looking for some kicks, answer the call of all. Answer the call of all. Answer the call, call of all. Seventy-six. Sorry. Play it now Just... with Xbox Game Pass. I I think that was a great trailer. Honestly, that was very funny. Uh, that's that, that was a very funny one. World premiere. I like how I like what they did with that. Ooh. I would say the showcase has been very really good, actually. Um, they've been making some Capcom. Yeah, I was, uh, I was trying to remember the name. The game. I'm trying to remember the name of, of a game. A series. Any Musha? Uh, nah, it can't be Chia. There's no way it's any Musha. Hey, yo. No way. Oh, what? Oh, what? What? Nah, don't play it. There's no way. Oh my god. I did play it through the first one. I played Warlords like a year ago or something. That game was weird though. I didn't play through them, but they only have like they haven't like released the second or the third one. Which I could actually play on here now that I think about it. Purifies people or deems the people. So not Animusha. Okay. Interesting. It feels like it. That was that same feel. That's so random. It's like when General they did Motors the XO Primal, to where it's like, here's is embodied Dino Crisis, but not brands. Dino Crisis. Chevrolet here's his main character that's red, that's a red hat with short hair. The V-Series.R elevates Cadillac's competitive spirit to a whole why, new why level. Why do they do that? With it's such a tease. V8 and hybrid power. The legendary Corvette has been a celebrated champion for decades. The all-new Chevrolet Corvette E-Ray so continues though. that tradition. Like, General Motors is proud I to usher know. in a new era of competition with the innovators behind the new Forza Motorsport. Old properties, but yet they make stuff similar to that. Forza Motorsport and General Motors are pairing their strengths and technical excellence yeah, I don't know. and sophisticated modern design to take bold steps into the future and bring that experience to gamers. I'm thrilled to welcome the Cadillac V-Series.R and the Corvette E-Ray. Here's the thing though, the weird thing is, is that like, all they could do really, if they if they don't want to make one from like scratch, they could just like re-release it, HD it, or remake it, or like, reboot it. I know you're ready. You've got this. 
Because right now, it is like Street Fighter and then like Monster Hunter. And then the person I was doing is like one of the lead like developers for Mega Man like left them. So it's like, I don't know what Mega Man's doing. Oh, obviously Resident Evil. So they got their like their big three, but not anything else. Really. But yeah, they. I mean, they've got a roll of like quality stuff. But then it's like that, and then like extra prime though. It's like I don't know how I'm feeling about these. It's very weird. We'll find out more about that. Because now, okay, because there's not many Musha, that definitely changes what the game is gonna be. So it kind of throws me off. Yeah, Forza. I knew that was. Well, there's always a Forza game. Um, I'm surprised they haven't shown, like, Gears of War remake. I thought I was gonna be there. I have seen all. That ever was, and all that ever will be. I was kind of hoping for like some high fire rush DLC betrayed. or something, but uh, endurance. Wait, actually, ambition and courage. I am the one who knows. You must be. But yeah, no, it sounds like, uh, it's definitely other, yeah. This looks more like, I don't want to say Elder Scrolls Online. I don't want to say I that, but that's kind of like the vibe I got. From fate's flow, unseen forces move against me, hungry for forbidden knowledge. Yeah, don't play me like that, no, it's A okay. Mystery, my, I, I did perk up too, and I was just like Dragon Age. I was like, oh, that'd be very different. Reality itself. I mean, hey, uh, I mean, I'll take a new Skyrim, but I'm still getting the vibe this is Elder Scrolls Online. That is like what I'm getting from this. Here's a t-shirt. Capcom would be like, here's a t-shirt. Protect the secret. Save Tamriel. Sorry, kind of Cesus me. Unit 37. Toronto is under attack. Nah. I know, Sector. Nah. There's something ah. different about no ah. Sector this time. They've taken over most of the city and yeah. they're rounding up Omnix. It's they because, because of the help. art style. I uh, just like People the graphics and the art style. I uh, just like this is giving me. There's new blood on the team. And we have so much to teach them. <laughs> Give me that feel. We can stop Null Sector. Maybe we can save the city. Coming through. This is weird how they're showing this. As if I didn't After have they said they cancel like Overwatch 2's like story mode. So we fly up there, smash through anything that gets in our way. It's so funny because they literally did like announce that they're canceling like the like Single the player moment, stuff. But I'm picking up reports of more attacks in other cities. It's a fight they want. I say let's give it to them. Engage. It's very weird. Time to create peace with bullets. Like I would, like I will admit, I played Overwatch when it first came out for like a little bit, because my friend would bring his ex, he brought his Xbox over to like my dorm, and that's where we should play it at. And then after that, I'm just like I'm good. 
But yeah, people really do get addicted to these like shooters. The multiplayer like, 5v5 the world is counting on us. Let's go. God, I feel like my Shall we do this together? Fight with me! You're right. They got some good designs. Like their character designs are Not like these solid. I used to like Doomfist, I thought he was really world cool. Premiere. Genji, he was pretty cool. You Genji was a lot of fun. Him and May. What is this place? It looks like we're in a palace. What the hell is going on? Who are these people? No idea. But if they're attacking us, our only choice is fighting back. Hey, look over there! Can you get yeah. us out of here? So you're telling me your thieves are still hunts, and you just happen oh, like to stumble into this world? Oh, it's like a strategy. The Rebel survive. Corps will always help the Phantom Thieves, just as the Phantom Thieves have helped the Rebel Corps. Like Never Digimon forget survive, that we're a united so force who can rely you know, on each other. Um, strategy RPGs. You should be grateful to have been made my subjects, but you're just mannerless little brats. <laughs> Yeah, I know those like chibi stars can always be hit or miss for people. Somewhere deep inside, I know you realize things can't go on like this. It's like the uh, so, Mario. Maybe it's like more like Mario Rabbits yeah. type of like action RPG. Mario Rabbits, like Sparks of Hope. Yeah, it's it's, it's hard to get excited found out this yeah it's like they keep milking persona 5 that cow's getting pretty damn skinny atlas like they already gave you like persona like strikers and there's like persona Humanity 2 has on the 3ds for knowledge in the unknown i think they got some mobile games the too. wonder is not that the field of stars is so vast but that we have measured it. And the dancing games. I mean, it was like Persona 4 Arena. Oh, they got like a fighting game too, with like Persona 4 and three characters. Twenty-five years in the making. Oh, I was trying to remember the name of Capcom's like new game, Dragma, Dragon's Dogma 2. I was trying Watts. to remember the name. Out there. I was trying to talk about that earlier, but then I couldn't remember the name, so I didn't say anything. I think after Drag Dragon's Dogma 2, we're going to be getting Monster Hunter after that. I think that's what's going to be happening. You're part of Constellation now. Part of our family. We do not fully understand all that is at work here. No finer group in the stars to be unraveling this mystery. I'll follow you from here on out, Captain. Grab jump is ready. I don't really have that many I thoughts on Starfield. Part. I don't really know. These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. Another great like I, I look at Starfield and I'm like, I should play Mass Effect, <laughs> is what I'm thinking. I still need to finish Human Mass Effect 3. Throughout the galaxy could be at risk. But that's really what my brain is to. We are not stopping. Whatever lies at the end of this road will change humanity forever i think the reason why i'm so skeptical about this game is that like this it was when they said belong. they have like they have like a lot of planets that were generated by people but then they said they made like there's like unlimited like planets you can visit that are like ai generated and that kind of turned me off from like playing it I think that's why.
Let me know if you want World me to watch that Starfield Direct. I don't know if I will. I don't think I will, but if people want me to, that's fine. It's just not my personal interest, like... Uh... I don't want- I don't want to assume it's just like an indie studio, like, mountain climbing, like adventure type game. Hey, if this was- okay, if this was like a platformer, like Celeste, like you're trying to climb up a mountain by platforming, that would, that would have been awesome. But... I think it's gonna be mostly climbing. Yeah. I would have been more excited if there was more platforming. But you're gonna be climbing like 80% of the time, I feel like. Well, obviously that's me making an assumption right away. It's different, so that's always cool. So like, survival horror. Okay, this looks pretty cool. Are so, like trying to adjust to it? Oh, that's what cool. So much stuff. Like, everything that's been shown has been mostly next year. Hi. I'm very excited to be returning as Johnny Silverhand in the upcoming expansion for Cyberpunk 2077, Phantom Liberty. 
This new adventure reunites Johnny and V on a dangerous spy mission my and now. introduces <laughs> Idris Elba as secret oh agent God. Solomon Reed. I'm okay now. It's really amazing to share the screen with you, Idris. It's cool to be a part of this game with you, man. Um, as a player, at least I've been you'll watching get to visit Dogtown. Um, an unexplored the part of here City, has been a lot better than and summer rescue games the president of the new United States of America. Expect a massive expansion, twists, secrets, and plenty like some of, of Game stuff Fest to do. Was like, I know the team at CD the first Project thirty Red minutes were was like just keeps amazing. raising the bar when it comes to but telling then, cinematic like, stories and video games. The middle of it was so games. brutal and I really can't that put wait me to sleep. To play and then it on I'm like, Xbox Series X and S. But enough talking. Well, I guess you want to see for yourself, and so it is my honor and pleasure to give you what? and introduce the official trailer for hey, Phantom wait. Liberty. Check it out. We're still bleed. Still, we're still breathing. There's got to be a way out of this. John, <laughs> we're still walking. I'm dying. Oh my There's God! There's nothing can stop that. V. My name is Songbird. I'm an NUS intelligence analyst. I did not play this game. I I, 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 uh, I know I it went from like life. rough to like very really good now, or for the most part, it's good. I need but, you to get uh, to Dogtown. Attention, all Dogtown residents. President managed to crash her Space Force One. You want to play a game is like the seventh point. Man's got a thousand and one reasons to want Myers as a hostage. Oh. Sleeper agents. Time to wake them up. We have to get his attention so somehow. So NUSA is tossing us back into the fray, huh? Stay sharp. We really love you. Now. God, what I'm not what he's missing out get on. Myers out of there. Time to evac. Her safety is the top priority. Shit! They catch us out here, we're dead. Wait, hear that? God almighty, it's moving! Run! This way, quick! Someone ratted us out. You know, V, treason ain't ever black and white. It's a charade, V. Wherever she goes, people get hurt. Bodies drop. Just want what Songbird promised me. The cure. The situation has changed. I need to know if you're with me. The illusion of freedom draws in the desperate. I was like, oh, oh daddy. Me. Come on, got iron in your hand. Gotta put it to someone's head. Pull the trigger. That is convinced to the buyer. I don't know what. I'll well. do anything and do it soon. I'll die. I was not expecting him to be here. All first captured in game. Ooh, that's good to know. Oh god, that pop in. Oh never mind, this, this is just the civilization getting up to date. I was about to say, I'm like, why is there so much pop in? Like, oh god, that's intentional. <laughs> Yeah, Sims. I almost want to say Civ by accident. But like, no, it's definitely not it. Getting really into this, like very specific people. But, uh, I'm born like 
Spaß. Like, this is the type of thing people would like, if you were more into this, you'd be staying up all night, like, building stuff. Cities. Skyline 2? You mean the first one? I think they have one more thing, maybe two more things. World premiere. Atlas, again? This is not the うちなる oh, okay. This Look at these monsters, oh my god. Nah, yeah. Are you fantasy? Okay, I was like... Okay. That, that looks pretty sick though. That looks pretty good. World premiere. That that looks very good. I'll be down to play it. I was like, hold up. That's pretty damn dope. Humanity's cities have fallen. That's definitely a highlight. Our people's only means of survival is to seek sanctuary here. The game looks the so good, though. Like, the last, like, this world uh, game that got me, like, Atlas game that got evil. me, like, addicted, addicted, it was probably when I played SMT5. Um, I still got played through SMT4 on my 3DS. I'm still, to our people. gotta figure some stuff out in it. So many RPGs. So little time. I like the way this game looks, though. I like this game's art style. I kind of hope it's like a uh, like a RPG, like beat 'em up. Together, you can save humanity. was on fire though they showed off like three trailers this whole showcase it's gonna be bioshock nah nah this city is a miracle of progress a finely tuned, this is gonna be Bioshock Infinite vibes. Machine. Oh no. There's no way. 
But it only takes one rebellious little gear to ruin everything. If you resist my rule, if you alter our past, if you threaten what I have built, there is nowhere Ooh. in space or time where I will not destroy you. Oh. Ooh, okay. Yo, I'm being dope. Got uh, this whole like time mechanic going here. Oh no. What did I do? Any last words? Before my friend puts one in your scalp. Wow, wow, what a tease. I, I got excited because I was like, oh, this, I was thinking of like Bioshock. Thank you all for joining us. Today is a special day for me and the team. Do they have one more? I'm excited to see 11 games showcased from our first party studios. We opened with Fable from Playground Games, which will bring the franchise into the modern era while staying true to its British style and humor. Compulsion and In Exile shared their first original experiences since joining Xbox with South of Midnight and Clockwork Revolution. So yeah, and we are thrilled got me excited. at how Avowed is shaping up dope. for release next year from the RPG Masters at Obsidian. In addition to Avowed, our studios will deliver Hellblade 2, an all-new Microsoft Flight Simulator, Powerborn, and more in 2024. Oh, say Later this good. month, players can look like forward to good. Elder Scrolls Online Necrom and Sea of Thieves Monkey Island. Compared to what As they've we done look before, to holiday, this is probably the we best will ones launch Starfield and Forza Motorsport, while. both built for Xbox Series X, S, and PC. We have to ask. The, we are uh, also honored to share 14 games today from company. our creative partners, like they Star Wars do a new Infamous from game. Ubisoft they haven't had one since in collaboration with Lucasfilm Games. launch, Second 33 Son. Immortals from Thunder God, Lotus. I love Infamous 1 and 2. Gami, I didn't play Second Path of the Son, Goddess from I played Capcom, 1 and 2. And, and more Persona games so coming good. to Game Pass thanks to our continued partnership so with Sega Atlas. I'd also like to congratulate the Studio so Zero fun. team on Metaphor Refantasio. It's great to be able to premiere what is next from the creators of Persona here in our showcase. We are focused enough, on putting our players and game creators first in everything we do. No matter if you choose to play on Xbox, PC, or over the cloud, all gamers are welcome here at Xbox. When it comes to our consoles, we have shirt? heard your feedback on two fronts. I'm first, we have shirt. significantly it's increased like our supply X of Xbox Yen. Series X, like X making it easier for fans to find globally. Second, yeah, we I know thought it was pretty good. you've wanted more storage with Xbox Series S, and I'm excited to share we have some news there as well. Is this going to make a new controller? Oh, it's a serious ass for black. Why didn't they do that sooner? I'm very confused. Why didn't they do that sooner? That's so bizarre to me that they didn't do that sooner. And now for the one more thing you've all been waiting for. One more thing. Prepare for the most one comprehensive deep dive we've ever done for the biggest game we've ever built. Oh. So sit perfect. tight and enjoy 
Starfield Direct. Oh, no, I was hoping it would be something else. God, why? I feel like that ending was so weird. All right. person not interested in Starfield, uh, but it's okay. <laughs> Let me see how much Hellblade is. Let me... Didn't they show off, like, a new... Oh, no. Sorry, no. I was thinking about something else. I'm surprised, um... They didn't do another color of that yet. Yeah. Blue or the themed one, yeah. They haven't done a themed one in a while. Since, like, what, the Halo one? What am I doing? Store. I don't look at the stuff here. Uh, add it to my list. Is there, like, a demo? I'm surprised they really haven't done one yet. Wait, is that the DLC or that's at the... There's no way it's that cheap. They're fucking with me, right? Wait, from the makers of Henry Sword and Slave Odyssey to the West and DMC Devil May Cry? One sec. One sec. I'm not buying something. You're buying something. What type? Okay, so what type of themed one do you want? Would you say? I'm surprised they didn't do one. Didn't they do one for Halo when Halo came out? I go on and off it. I like to own it. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just kind of tired of subscriptions. There we go. It was like eight bucks. I got paid tomorrow. It's fine. I'm just very curious about it. The reason why I don't, I go in and out of it. Like, I sometimes subscribe for a month, then usually, I'm like, ah, it's fine. I'm just kind of waiting for that to download a little bit. So I, can play it. I don't have that much time. I have like half an hour. So I want to see how much I can get out of it. I know it's cheap, don't get me wrong, but it's like, I, I like to buy games. I just like to own it. So I can just like, don't have to like rush to play it within like a certain amount of time. And like I work, so it's like, I, I'll just own it. I'm weird. Too many subscriptions these days. Also, I, I do think that my Game Pass is still going on for. I don't know what's going to expire. Let me see this. They commit enough. Points. Oh damn! I could have gotten it for like four bucks. Okay, it's fine. It was on sale. I don't feel bad. I keep looking at stuff. Well, me, all right. I should probably close out the other games I have here. So I'm gonna copy it around here. Don't mind me. Nah. It's probably gonna help it a little faster. But yeah, I still got work through uh, Yakuza Kwame 2. I, I want to do the Majima story. Then I'll probably move on to 3. See how that goes. Um, what's on my list here? Um, I'm going to play this game for fun on here when I get a chance. Um, I don't know this, this game isn't that long either, so it's like I'm, I'm personally interested in it. Uh, obviously, World Tour stuff. Yeah, that's not... Oh, I mean, I, I did play Wild Hearts. Uh, I did beat Wild Hearts. That was, that was a lot of fun. I just need to do the post game for it. I'm catching up with my list, though, so that's very good. I'm going to look at what's on Game Pass, though. Out of curiosity. Where we play. Club Toads. Yeah, but no, that, that showcase was pretty good. Oh, uh, if you haven't played this game yet, play Death's Door. If you like Zelda-like games, this one's very good. The game, this game is not that long either. You play as a, a crow and you like collect like souls and stuff like that. It's very really good. I, I recommend it. It's a very really good game. 
Uh, let's see. I was playing Dead Cells, but then I lost track. I heard mixed things about this game, Eastward. So I was like, oh, that's a shame. I'm, okay, I, I've been one thing I'm surprised about is that, like, I was expecting Gears of War to come up during the showcase, and we did not see any Gears of War. That threw me off, actually. I was, like, actually, like, ex expecting that. If I made a bingo card, it would have definitely been on there. That threw me off. I'm surprised we're going to get any, like, Hi-Fi Rush DLC. It didn't show anything, like, hey, well, we re related. That totally threw me off. No Silk Song either. What is happening with Silk Song? I don't think this game exists. It's not real. No KI. Sad. Didn't see any Elden Ring DLC either. I was kind of expecting Elden Ring DLC. I'm just kind of looking through Amori. I heard good things about this one. Nice skipping through. Yeah, uh, so... Uh, the remake for Persona 3 got leaked on, like, Instagram. Like, the, uh... One of the marketing people posted it on, like, Instagram, like... Two or three days ago. And that person got fired because... <laughs> someone posted they had, like, a new, like, hiring... Like, position for it. That was just bogus. I was like, damn, it was that quick. So you got the boot. And then on top of, like... Oh, we do get payday. People are excited for this game. Somewhere. Somewhere they are. Did you all have like a personal highlight? Oh yeah, true. Wait, that person got fired like... Right away. That happens so often though. It's kind of crazy to me. Um... How frequently stuff like that. Um, it's usually like Amazon. Um, I think, um, I think it was in like Korea. They do like the, the rating board for games. They like post ratings for games early. So that's a pretty often issue there. Oh, we got like Shutter's Revenge coming up for that DLC. I already played through the Walking Dead stuff. So that was pretty fun. Oh, the Yakuza stuff. There's so much Yakuza stuff Sega pumped out this week. They showed like three different like types. It always sucks for the uh, developers though because they're just like trying to get that figured out. Did I quit out of that? Yeah, overall, that was a good showcase. It was very enjoyable. What's on my list? Near Automata, I need to play that. <laughs> I do not know why I put that off. I can take you off. Tekken Tag 2. I don't need you there. I don't know why this game is still on here. I'm never going to buy that. No DLC for you. So I, I, I do like the browse quite a bit. But yeah, now we got the Capcom showcase tomorrow. What are we expecting for that? I'm expecting Street Fighter 6 DLC. Probably one more push for uh Exo Primal. Dragon's Dogma 2, probably. Probably some like Resident Evil 4 remake DLC. Or like new additions for it. Uh Been seeing people ask for Code Veronica. People have been asking for either Code Veronica or uh or is there a remake? 
be a gift. I still go. I still gotta play through it. It's on the list. That is technically the next Resident Evil game I need to go through. Because we did zero, one, two, and three. We gotta play Code Veronica eventually. I don't know why, but uh, we'll find out how that would be. I was playing Dino Crisis and I didn't finish it. Oh, uh, I need to finish Dino Crisis. Oh, I'm gonna be gone next weekend. I'm gonna be on a trip, by the way. Um, going on a mini vacation from like the 17th to the 20th. Um, so that's gonna be a lot of fun. Gonna be going hanging out with a friend on my trip, so that's gonna be pretty fun. About like my airplane ticket, gonna be out for a bit. I bought new shoes too. I got my hiking shoes. I'm gonna be going hiking a lot. Oh my god. It's gonna be nice. It's gonna be a great time. I'm looking forward to it. But um let me get my water real quick. I'm trying to think I don't I don't think they're gonna do new Mega Man. I'm not expecting Mega Man stuff. Uh let's see. If they do Mega Man stuff, it probably will be another collection. But I feel like we just got a collection, so. Um, maybe Ace Attorney. Oh, uh, Ace Attorney. Oh, I was about to say. I, f I forget they don't own, like, the Castlevania games for some reason. Um, I'll not be expecting DMC. Yeah, that that's true. Maybe that would get a specific one. We'll see. I mean, yeah, it is tomorrow. If it's tomorrow at like 5 p.m. for me, maybe my time. I keep it white. I think we'll be okay. Performance mode, amazing. I'm, I, I've just been curious about this game too. Hey man, if I really just buy a game, it's just... Of the top games for the pandemic. I've heard really good things. I heard really good things. I'm just like, oh, I will get to it. Who are you? I know it's like psychological. It must you feel. But yeah, since they show off the second game, I'm like, I need to get a feel for this. Safe with me. I'll be right here. Nice and close so I can speak without alerting the others. Let me tell you about Senua. Now her story has already come to an end, but now... I was playing most of you like, Switch games, and then, uh... During, like, 2020? It's breathing. It's breathing. It's breathing. Then I think I was finishing Dark Souls 3, like, early in the year, maybe. journey deep into darkness. There will be no more stories after this one. What is she doing? Why is she doing this? They're watching. Why doesn't she do coming? Interesting. She's doing this for him. She wants to rescue you. He's already dead. I feel you coming. Shh. Quiet. Oh, how rude of me. I never told you of the others. Mental health advisor. Oh my God! Why is that the first pain? That's no confidence. The tragedy. Oh no. That's not quite true. Some are old. Some are new, but they've changed. 
I think the darkness changed them just like it changed her. Can you see them? Over there. Why isn't she looking? <laughs> Why aren't you looking? It's an ally. Look. Up ahead. An ally. You see it too? You promised you could. Yes. It is real after all. She's finally arrived in the land of mist and fog. The place the Northmen call Hells. Turn back. Go back. Go back. Go back. It's not safe. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. It's not safe. It's there. There. Get my nerves going up. But yeah, in terms of like new games coming out this year, um, I think Sonic Superstars is probably gonna be the one I'm the like personally excited for. The drowned. The I think that's gonna be like my personal like thing I'm interested in. Here they lie, rotting in the fields and rivers of hell. Just cause two D Sonic game here. looks fun. This is not a place of rest. Ooh. Can you see them? Can you see them? They're going to do that to you. They're watching. Stop. Can you feel them watching? They're watching her. What is she thinking? I can tell you. She's afraid. Wouldn't you be? You'd think she would get used to it by now after so many years. Mm -hmm. But the darkness... It just builds onto itself. Growing stronger. Towering over her. You might try and ignore it. Turn away. But it's always there, just out of sight. Where you're most vulnerable. It's like it knows that just enough light. My God. Is all you need to see its suffocating power. You might think she's brave to go on this journey on her own. But it isn't bravery that drives her. Bravery only means something to those afraid of death. I need to start using my switch though. It's far. I haven't used my switch in a while. Um, I was like looking at it earlier and I'm like, I need a... I mean, once I play, once I'm done with Data Squad, I'm probably gonna do next order next. So I will finally like use it more. And then, um, I want to maybe play Ring Fit Adventure again. Not again, but I'll get back into it. We landed! Like, Ring Fit Adventure. Because I was actually, like, I want to start, like, exercising again. And we'll see how that goes. I, like, kind of died in my jog today. Like, I was doing well, but then I was like, damn, my stamina is not there. In my knee. I know what she's thinking. I hear her thoughts. It's not too late to get into the boat and go back. No one will judge her. No one will ever know. Oh, she heard us. There's no going back. And who pushes away a world that conspired to cause so much suffering. There's nothing to go back to and worse to look forward to. Why don't you join us? 
Maybe you too have a part to play in this story. You know, maybe we should have, you know, not kicked it. Whoa. You have to take a closer look to see. Why isn't she focusing? She needs to focus now. She needs to use her eyes. Do not forget oh. my story, Senua. Because your dark... Do not forget my story, Senua. Because your darkness comes from hell. And your fate lies there. They say the burning of a corpse will take you straight to Hella's gate. But gods and the living will follow this path. I was like looking. You must leave the Isles of Orkney across the Eastern Sea and find a road that leads north and down I need to this through up a deep, bit. dark valleys. After nine nights of riding, you will follow a great river and will find a bridge covered in gold. The path to Helheim goes from there what? across the river of knives oh. that flows from the dark world of Niflheim. Everything's gonna be okay. Who's coming? knives across which lies the halls of hell the place they call Helheim There's no doubt about it. The source of the darkness is in Helheim. And the goddess Hela holds his soul there. Her dear beloved. Dillian. I didn't mention this earlier, but I actually did some of the arcade runs for Street Fighter 6. Um. I did it for DJ, Amy, and Jamie so far. I did like a 12, like 12 match arcade run. It's pretty fun. I really like how like Cammy's learning to like rely on others and then like the bridge to Helheim. So I'm like, okay, yeah. She forgets too. And then like Jamie like getting an argument with Luke was pretty funny. But she does remember that only the dead may cross it. That part wasn't so easy to forget. The old fool said there was a hidden path up to it. Let's see, shall we? Oh, 
I was trying to figure out like how like well, this has to be a way for me to go faster. Sorry. I was pressing different buttons and I was like, how do I move faster? But then I'm look over here. My bad. I think there should be something around right here too. So I was trying like L3, I was doing like RT. I even did A for a little bit. The Northmen speak of nine worlds. The world of men they call Midgard. Sky gods, the Northmen speak of nine worlds. Weird. The world of men they call Midgard. So Sky gods find them dwell in all. Asgard. The gods of Earth, harvest, wind, and sea dwell in Vanaheim. The good elves dwell in Alfheim. The evil ones dwell in Svartalfheim. The mountain giants dwell in Jotunheim. The fire giants dwell in Muspelsheim. Niflheim is the world of ice and darkness. Only the dead dwell. This is also made by like a small studio, I think, and until like Microsoft like helped like fund it. Getting like hard Tomb Raider vibes. Do you know where you are? Where are we? Get down. <laughs> What's she waiting for? Oh my god. Where are you? Turn around. Why did she do that? She shouldn't have done it. She can't go back now. <laughs> no, this is it. Her voice is thinking. She can't go back, starts laughing. Like, oh. This Baka. Stories again, old friend. I'm listening. The runes seal the gates to hell. Focus your inner eye, and you too will see what's hidden in plain sight. My controls vibrate. I can see one. Hold it in your mind's eye. Find one like it to open the gate. She needs to look closer. It's 
second. This one we'll look at. Uh, what's auto like? I was just looking at all of these. One of this have a name. Whoa. So you notice how we see that everywhere. It's near. Look towards the gate. And the gate will open. Weird. The gate is open. Go through the gate. Go through it. It's dangerous. It's it worked. It's mine. I will take you. It's not safe. I spent six years in sleep oh in hell. But I watched the Northmen. Learned their ways. I know you did. You listen? When everyone else laughed, my people paid the heavy price. Carry my stories with you, and together we will make the Northmen feel our fury. Oh. Everything's gonna be okay. Another voice joins us. She wants to try to make them go away. Pretend they weren't real. is ruled by the giantess, Hela, daughter of Loki. The gods feared her bloodline, bad on her mother's side and yet much worse on her father's. So, as a child, the Allfather cast her down into Helheim and gave her power over those who die of sickness, age, hardship and self-slaughter. In all of the nine worlds, only Hela can resurrect the dead. To Hela, your Dillion was sacrificed, and with her, you must bargain. Okay, what's up there? Sorry, I'm like focused. It's also dark as hell in here. And I see that. But uh it's down here. Oh see, I was trying to go down the ladder. Because that's what I was missing. I was like, oh there's a way for me to go down, but then I could not just see for the life of me. Wait, I really just go back up. Go down, please. My god, I can't see shit. <laughs> it's so dark, y'all.
Let me see if I can turn on my brightness on my TV. I cannot see for the life of me. A little better. Well, I look back up. Is the reason why I can't go down? Okay. I'd really crank it. the living from the dead is that the face of Hela herself the half rotten goddess that rules over Helheim whatever horrors lie behind that door she must find him I was expecting to strike me. Oh, whoa. rot and now it has taken hold 
It will spread towards her head, the seed of the soul, until there is nothing left of her. All of her suffering will have been for nothing. It's just a matter of time. is over and all progress we lost what the hardest battles are fought in the mind that is what Dillian taught her with every defeat the dark rot will grow and soon it will take her soul. But for now, at least, she still has control of her mind. And she will fulfill her vow. Whatever the cost. and feasts on their remains. Oh. Follow the path to Valraven and defeat him in battle to earn his mark. The gate to Helheim cannot be opened without it. see what's over here real quick i might have to wrap it up for now i do have somewhere to need to be in a bit emir was a frost giant a being of darkness and all his sons and grandsons were dark after him of his daughters and granddaughters some were monstrous but others fair but there was another who came from the ice buri in shape he was like a man big and powerful. His son, Bor, took a fair giant to be his wife, and they had three sons. Odin was the eldest, and the Northmen hold him to be the foremost of the gods, the Old Father. Okay. God, this game's pretty... Okay. I want to keep going, but I have to go. Um... My friend is, uh, my friend's younger brother is having, like, a grab party, so I do have to attend it. Um, I was at, like, a different one yesterday, but now I have another one to go to. So I have to, like, go on a 30-minute drive-ish and figure that out. Um, if I don't stream later today, tomorrow, we'll try to do the, uh, the Capcom showcase, and then Digi Monday, hopefully. That'd be the plan. Yeah, hope you all have a good rest of your Sunday. Take care. Peace.